Cancel culture, puppets, props, puns, podcasts. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cancel Culture. And we're sitting here in our library, and we're about to... Uh, They're all cookbooks. <laughs> How to serve man. Hey, and we're about to uh, have a little bit of cancel culture story time. We love telling stories, uh, very animated, uh, and it's uh, it's weird. Uh, every comic I know has great stories. Um, real quick, too, uh, Philadelphia is a big baseball town. People love baseball in Philadelphia. We just lost the World Series last year, and we lost the Super Bowl also. But last year, Wid went to, was it a World Series game or a playoff I, game? It was a, no, it was a World Series game. And uh, he went out and bought a Philly Fanatic costume I, <laughs> and walked in backwards. The Philly Fanatic <laughs> is, uh, is very funny because the Philly Fanatic, one of his, uh, one of his jobs being the Philly Fanatic as the uh, uh, mascot, he has to go up into the far upper echelons and usually there's a couple from New Jersey fornicating in the seats up there. <laughs> did, did you ever touch the Philly flag skin? It, it must be felt. <laughs> well, as a uh, uh, as the mascot, he, uh, you know, there's pe people, you know, like uh, somebody will be sitting on somebody else's and, uh, and doing the deed. And they think nobody sees it, but the, it's, know, it's on the jumbotron. But the camera guy goes, "All oh, right, we got over in, in this." Oh section. yeah. So the Philly fanatic, uh, the, the the Philly fanatic goes up in full uniform and a giant, uh, a giant water soaker, a <laughs> super oh, <yeah>. soaker, <laughs> and he comes up and he sprays the couple, and then they, you know, they unfornicate, you know. But I Boy. always thought that was a, well, a a strange job. How did you get in that game? Well, I. Uh, I got into playoff games, okay, because I lived on Franklin Street, uh, right off Oregon Avenue, where I was close enough to the stadium that every time something happened, I would hear. Yeah, you hear that, that wave, the roar of the crowd. Yeah. So I would hear that. And I would think, you know, I always think that, you know, that, that, that there's something in the night. I get night fever, and uh, I said, uh, you know, of course I couldn't afford tickets to, uh, to the game. I mean, there's a playoff game. I'm watching it on TV with the, with the sound down because I can hear in the background. And I feel like, so it's an exciting game. I don't know the third, the fourth, I, you know, I don't know. But uh, it, it's an exciting game. So I said to myself, I'm going to go try to sneak into, uh, you know, into the uh, stadium. stadium there. And, uh, you know, it's only like, you know, it's two blocks, you know, maybe four blocks away. So I put on a tuxedo. I have millions of tuxedos because I'm, uh, you know, a comedian and, and they're all secondhand tuxedos. Because And all the baseball stadiums are filled with people in tuxedos. <laughs> exactly. I, and so <laughs> I come up to the uh, front gate, okay? What, what it might have been the side gate. And I'm dressed in a, in a tuxedo, and I comb my hair, you, and I look nice, and I'm just about... John, I didn't even have to say what I was there for. You're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the sing the national anthem. You're Enrico Paluzzo. They had no idea who I was, but I was in a tuxedo. <laughs> and I was at a baseball game in a tuxedo. They, the people who were ushers there, the cops, they would open doors for me, not asking questions, they just opened the front door for me, let me walk in. Any section that I went in, because I had a tuxedo on, they would go, oh, okay, he's all right. He's a, and stuff like that. He's a So I got into the greatest seats, and then, uh, you know, I went up to the top, and, all, and they had those uh, the, the crying rags, and they were going yeah. like this and stuff. But I'm not a big sports fan, so I, I hung around for a little while, and then, you know. I went back home in my tuxedo, but I had gotten in there and, uh, you know, and I wanted to get out before I had to buy any of that expensive food. But that was one of my, uh, you know. Fascinating. You can wear a tuxedo. That was one of my, uh, my sneak favorite sneak-ins because uh, I, I, I did it a couple times in a tuxedo, and they always let me in and never uh, asked one question. I did that one time. I snuck into a church with a tuxedo, and I went up married. I thought you got married in a garage. <laughs> I did, but I, I couldn't back out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Kensal Culture Story Time, and 
I'm the legendary Wade. Does John cancel? Press that subscribe and ring that bell.